Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see types of tension members. So let's see what are the types of tension members. See, whenever I am talking about types of tension members, so they will not be the types that we use in the sections. Means you will not write angle section channel section i section those are not the types of channel uh, tension members they are the types of cross sections that are used as tension members so what are the types of tension members so the first type of tension member is wires and cables any tension member in which there is a pull means any cables or wires which are applied to a pull they will be subjected to the tensile forces so the wire type tension members are used for derricks so if you don't get this word what is derrick that's why i have mentioned or i have put diagram or the photo here so that you can understand what is derrick so in this you can see the cables here here there are certain cables which are capable of lifting certain loads and they will be subjected to the tension okay. so in derricks the wires which are used in the derricks means these wires as you can see in the picture here they will be known as or they will be come under the category of tension members then we have hoists hangers for the suspension bridges then guy wires see all these are nothing but this type of structure see hoist means this type of angle uh, this type of cables which are subjected to the tensile forces or the tension so these are also the types of tension members or the hangers that we use in the suspension bridges you may have seen this type of bridges let us consider that this is the girder or the slab of a of any bridge and they are these are nothing but your cables or the suspension cables so these cables which are used in the suspension bridges they will be subjected to the tension then we have bars and rods see the round and square bars are frequently used for small tension members small round shape and small square bars now what are round shape and square, uh, square bars see like this bars means this type of structures like this so if they are round like this they can be used or they will be used frequently for the small tension members then even the square bars if your cross section is like this the square type like this and if you are using this type of bars as a tension member in a structure so they will be frequently used for the tension members then single structural plates and shapes now what are single structural plates and shapes see single structural shapes such as angle sections and t sections this we have covered already what are angle sections these are nothing but like this these are the angle sections then we have t sections like this this type of sections we have already covered in the first chapter also you can watch that those videos so these sections can also be used as a tension member then they are saying that the angle sections are more rigid than the wires they have concluded something from the research from the various studies that angle sections will be more rigid than the wires see as you can see if you apply the common logic also you will find that the angle sections will obviously be the rigid as compared to the wires or the cables or the rods or the bars so best one in from rigid point rigidity point of view will be the angle sections okay we have various sections also then we have built up sections now what are built up sections see two or more tension members are used to form the built up members for example if you are using like this if there is a angle section see, this is nothing but your angle section no and this one is also your angle section like this same if you are using four angle sections means if you are using the angle sections like this so these four angles are forming a box 
and you can even use the plates like this if you want to convert your normal section with the built up one you can do these things you can use the plates with it like this like this so why we are using so many angles for example the load particular see this one angle let us consider that this is one angle and its load carrying capacity is 50 kN but we want to carry means we want a particular structural member that can resist at least 200 kN so what we will do we will use four channels and we will convert this we will use four angles and we will convert this into the built up section what we will do we will use these four angles and these angles will be connected with bolts like this to the plate and finally the section that we will get will be the built up one so these are nothing but your built up sections not only the angle sections but also the channel sections can also be used like this for example if you have a channel section like this there is one channel like this and there is another channel like this so this is a case of two channels which are placed face to face so they are also forming a built up section if you use one plate to attach this together like this by the bolt or you can use the welding also like this so what they are forming they are forming the built up section this is the box section actually but they are forming the built up section so two or more tension members if they are used to form the built up sections are generally provided as a built up sections then when the single structural steel cannot furnish the required area built up sections are used as i told you you have one angle which is capable of resisting 50 kN load only but you want a capacity of 200 kN so what we will do or what you will do as a designer you will use four angles so that at least it will have 200 kN of load and you want more than that so these plates will also contribute to the load carrying capacity so ultimately you will have a section which is capable of resisting not only 200 but more than that so in this case you can use the built up sections then double angle sections having unequal legs are used as tension members in the roof trusses particularly in the roof truss members what we will do we will use unequal angle sections now what what is unequal angle section for example there is one leg like this and one leg is like this you can see this length is having some different width and or length and this this one is having some different one let us consider that this is your a and this is your b so in this particular diagram you can conclude that a is greater than b na? a is greater than b okay so in such cases this type of angles are known as unequal legs see they are having unequal legs no so this is nothing but your angle section which is having unequal leg and you can use it double like this if you want to use double angles like this so you can use like this also so it will form a double angle so this was the video on types of tension members thank you